back to China Discovery's official. I'm James, and if you think you've already seen the greatest man-made wonders on Earth, get ready, because what China is building right now will absolutely overwhelm you. With investments reaching into the hundreds of billions of US dollars, China is reshaping the world through engineering feats so massive and so ambitious that they push the limits of what humanity thought possible. From the longest sea-crossing bridges on the planet, to colossal hydropower stations, to entire cities carved out of mountainous terrain, these are not ordinary construction projects. They are bold statements from a rising global superpower. One of the most striking examples of China's ambition and financial strength is the Fan Viaduct. This massive structure is part of a strategic rail corridor nearly 2,000 kilometers long, connecting central and southwestern China to Inner Mongolia. The multi-billion dollar project was built to optimize the country's large-scale coal supply chain, a lifeline for China's energy security. Stretching nearly 8,000 meters, the viaduct stands on 216 ultra-strong pillars, with the tallest reaching 74 meters, the height of a 20-plus story building. Its foundations descend 91 meters deep to support enormous loads. Designed specifically for heavy freight, the bridge can move up to 200 million tons of coal every year. Trains on this line can reach up to two and a half kilometers in length and weigh around 20,000 tons. They travel with remarkable efficiency, cutting transport time by as much as 50% compared to road routes and saving billions of US dollars in logistics costs annually. To put that into perspective, 200 million tons of coal per year is enough to power tens of millions of households and thousands of industrial facilities for an entire year. This staggering capacity is not just a record in rail freight. It reflects China's massive energy demand and its ability to meet that demand through advanced infrastructure. The Fan Viaduct is far more than a bridge. It is a symbol of China's infrastructural power and its willingness to invest heavily in essential national projects. Its scale and impact go well beyond transportation. It is a crucial component of China's broader economic strategy, safeguarding energy security and sustaining the country's rapid industrial growth. The Baihatan hydropower station is a natural energy masterpiece. Rising above the Yangtze River, Baihatan is not only a colossal power facility, but also a symbol of China's engineering strength and construction capability. With a total investment of 26 billion US dollars, it ranks among the largest hydropower projects on the planet, showcasing China's commitment to renewable energy. Construction began in 2017 and finished in only five years, a pace that very few countries could match for a project of this scale. The dam stands 289 meters tall, equal to a 95-story skyscraper, and it powers 16 giant generating units with a total capacity of 16 million kilowatts, or 16 gigawatts. That makes it the second most powerful hydropower station in the world, behind only the Three Gorges Dam. 16 gigawatts is an astonishing amount of energy. It is greater than the combined output of dozens of traditional nuclear plants and enough to power tens of millions of homes. What is even more impressive is that every generating unit in Baihatan was designed and manufactured entirely in China, each delivering one full gigawatt, proving the country's technological independence in large-scale energy engineering. The reservoir holds more than 26 billion cubic meters of water, the equivalent of roughly 8 million Olympic swimming pools. This massive volume allows Baihatan to regulate river flow, reduce flooding, and enhance water management across the Yangtze Basin. Baihatan is a key link in an enormous chain of hydropower stations along the Yangtze River, including Wudongde, Ziluodu, Ziangjiaba, Three Gorges, and Gajuba, all operated by the China Three Gorges Corporation. Together, they generate about 300 billion kilowatt hours annually, comparable to the entire yearly electricity consumption of countries like Vietnam or even the United Kingdom. Their combined output replaces more than 90 million tons of coal and cuts 248 million tons of carbon dioxide every year, equal to planting 5 billion trees. These mega projects demonstrate not only China's financial strength, 
but also its global leadership in renewable energy with transformative economic and environmental impacts. The Three Gorges Dam is another monumental engineering achievement. Beyond the towering dams like Beatan, China also built the largest hydropower project on Earth, the Three Gorges Dam. With an investment of 37 billion US dollars, enough to build more than 50 Burj Khalifa towers, this is the heaviest man-made infrastructure ever created, stretching across the Yangtze River. The dam itself weighs 65 and a half million tons, heavier than 180 Empire State Buildings combined. Nearly 20 years of construction required more than 27 million cubic meters of concrete, enough for 85 Burj Khalifa towers, and more than 450,000 tons of steel, enough for 60 Eiffel Towers. The Three Gorges Dam serves multiple strategic purposes, flood control, massive power generation, and national prestige. Its 32 generating units, and including six underground turbines, produce about 100 terawatt hours of electricity every year. That is enough to power the entire state of New York or the entire country of the Philippines. It reduces 100 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions every year and cuts China's reliance on fossil fuels. The dam has proven extremely effective in controlling disastrous floods, protecting millions of people and critical economic regions downstream from the historic Yangtze floods that once occurred regularly. Of course, this achievement came with enormous social impact. More than 1.3 million residents were relocated, a decision reflecting the large-scale trade-offs required at the time, but also one that the Chinese government viewed as essential for long-term national benefit. Leveling mountains to build entire cities, this is one of the boldest geographical transformations ever attempted. Faced with rapid population growth and shrinking urban land, China chose not just to build higher or wider, but to reshape the land itself. Massive investments have gone into flattening mountains and turning rugged terrain into new urban hubs. Lanzhou New Area is one of the most dramatic examples. To create this brand new city, China leveled more than 700 hills and moved over 700 million cubic meters of earth, enough to fill roughly 260,000 Olympic pools. Land reshaping alone cost 2.5 billion US dollars, while the total investment surpassed 11 billion. The project created 86 square kilometers of new urban land, larger than the entire city of New York. By 2030, Lanzhou New Area is expected to house 3.5 million residents and contribute 27 billion US dollars to regional GDP. This is not just city planning. It is a transformational construction milestone that proves China can literally rewrite geography on an unprecedented scale. The Guangzhou Opera House is a masterpiece of architecture inspired by nature itself. One of China's most iconic cultural landmarks, it symbolizes the country's push to build world-class artistic infrastructure. With an investment of 200 million US dollars, the Opera House spans 70,000 square meters with seating for 1,800 guests. Designed by the legendary architect Zaha Hadid, its flowing curves mimic natural formations canyons, rivers, and waterfalls, blending seamlessly with the banks of the Pearl River. China continues to invest heavily in culture, including the Harbin Opera House in the cold Northeast, wrapped in more than 30,000 reflective white aluminum panels. Built at a cost of 260 million US dollars, these breathtaking structures are more than cultural venues. They are statements of financial strength, architectural excellence, and China's growing cultural leadership on the world stage. The Taihu Tunnel marks a breakthrough in underwater infrastructure. After four years of construction and billions of dollars in investment, China completed its longest and widest underwater road tunnel. This milestone in engineering has dramatically improved regional connectivity. The tunnel stretches 10.79 kilometers, with six lanes and a width of 17.45 meters making it the widest underwater road tunnel in China. Travel time across Lake Taihu dropped from tens of minutes to only eight minutes, boosting mobility across the Yangtze River Delta, one of the busiest economic regions on Earth. More than two million tons of concrete were used, enough to rebuild a long segment of the Great Wall. 
The tunnel design preserves the lake landscape and features full-length LED illumination, creating a visually striking journey. Although it is not the world's longest road tunnel, Lerdal in Norway spans 24.5 kilometers, China's ambitions continue with the planned Yantai Dal Ian Undersea Railway Tunnel, stretching 105 kilometers and expected to redefine tunnel engineering worldwide. The Shanghai Tower reaches new heights in urban design. At 632 meters tall, it is the tallest building in China and one of the most iconic super tall skyscrapers in the world. With a construction cost of 2.4 billion US dollars, it reflects China's vertical ambition and architectural capability. Its nine stack cylindrical sections twist upward, reducing wind load by 24%. A major leap in super tall tower engineering. Its double layer glass facade improves energy efficiency, cutting energy usage by 21% and reinforcing China's leadership in green architecture. The tower is not just a skyscraper, it is a vertical city filled with luxury malls, premium offices, entertainment venues, and the world's highest observation deck. Elevators travel at 74 kilometers per hour, carrying visitors into the sky in seconds. It stands as a monument to China's engineering innovation and global architectural presence. With its unique design and sustainable technology, Shanghai Tower proves that China builds not just bigger, but smarter. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is a structure that defines a century. This is not just a bridge. It is a 55 kilometer engineering marvel that links three of Asia's most powerful economic centers. Combining long sea bridges, an underwater tunnel, and two artificial islands, it is the longest sea crossing on earth. Built at a cost exceeding 18 billion euros or more than 20 billion US dollars, it is one of the most expensive transport projects in history. Constructed under extreme conditions, facing more than 500 typhoons and a challenging seabed, engineers built two artificial islands of 100,000 square meters each, connected by a 6.7 kilometer underwater tunnel that allows giant cargo ships to pass above. Since opening in 2018, travel time between the cities has fallen from three hours to 30 minutes, doubling cargo capacity and accelerating growth across the Greater Bay Area, home to 86 million people with a GDP of 1.9 trillion US dollars, comparable to nations like Canada or Russia. This project is a powerful symbol of China's regional leadership and infrastructure expertise. It demonstrates how China strategically builds mega economic regions through connectivity, creating undeniable competitive advantages. The Beijing Daxing International Airport is one of the largest aviation hubs ever built. Nicknamed the Starfish for its futuristic design, Daxing stands among the biggest and most advanced airports on the planet, built at a cost of 63 billion US dollars. It reflects China's ambition to dominate global aviation. Covering 700,000 square meters with four runways, expandable to six, the airport can handle 620,000 flights per year, roughly 1,700 per day. At full capacity, it can serve 100 million passengers annually, nearly twice the population of the United Kingdom. Constructed with 1.6 million cubic meters of concrete and 52,000 tons of steel, Daxing integrates high-speed rail, metro lines and expressways linking to central Beijing in just 20 minutes. Its starfish layout is not only visually striking, but also shortens walking distances dramatically, a major improvement over traditional airport designs. Daxing eases congestion at Beijing Capital Airport and strengthens China's role as a global air gateway. It stands as a powerful testament to China's forward-looking vision for future mobility and its determination to claim leadership in world aviation. The Beijing Guangzhou High Speed Railway is the backbone connecting North and South China. Stretching 2,298 kilometers, it is the longest high speed rail line in the world, linking Beijing with Guangzhou, the economic powerhouse of the South. It runs through six provinces and serves hundreds of millions of passengers every year, making it a national milestone. Operating at 350 kilometers per hour, it slashes travel time from 22 hours to only eight, 
a 70% reduction and a revolution in domestic mobility. Built with an enormous investment of 234 billion US dollars, it required 60 million tons of steel, hundreds of millions of tons of concrete, and more than 20,000 kilometers of track and supporting systems. The railway ignited economic growth across more than 80 cities, boosting trade, real estate, and tourism. Industrial output along the corridor increased by 40%, and domestic tourism grew by more than 50 million trips annually. This line is a core pillar of China's 50,000-kilometer high-speed rail vision, a network already longer than the combined high-speed rail networks of the rest of the world. It represents one of the most undeniable engineering and economic achievements of our time. The Yantai Dalian Undersea Railway Tunnel aims to break the final barrier beneath the ocean. This bold mega project will transform transportation between two critical coastal regions. With an estimated cost of 200 billion yuan, or 27.8 billion US dollars, the tunnel will exceed 105 kilometers in length twice that of the Channel Tunnel between the UK and France, and even longer than Japan's Seikin Tunnel. It is expected to become the longest undersea tunnel ever constructed. Now in advanced planning and pre-construction stages, full-scale development may begin in the coming years. Engineers will excavate 90 million cubic meters of rock beneath immense ocean pressure. Carrying two tracks and supporting 200 high-speed trains per day it will cut travel time from eight hours to only 40 minutes, dramatically reducing logistics costs and relieving strain on ferries and airlines. Over 15,000 engineers and workers will rely on tunnel boring machines with diameters of 15 meters, among the largest and most advanced in the world. Construction will require 5 million tons of steel, enough to build 60 Golden Gate bridges. Beyond engineering, the tunnel will serve as a strategic corridor for trade, logistics, and tourism, unlocking major new economic potential across Northeast China in the Shandong Peninsula. It represents yet another example of how China turns ambitious ideas into reality. Among these incredible feats of engineering, which one impressed you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below.